some more whiskey. I can't seem to understand how you do this to me. You've been running in circles inside my head. See this right here? This is a real car connoisseur, picking low team. Or maybe you're just cheap. That's cool though, no judgments. I'll take you for a spin in low car. You'll see there's nothing cheap about it. I mean, I like to get value for my money. Nothing wrong with that. some stories about Lozy? Trust me, you want to hear some stories about Lozy. Now let's say you're not a Horizon superstar. You don't make the big bucks, but you still want a fun daily drive you can take to the track. That's low car. Turbo, suspension, brakes, wheels, tires, lights, body kit, paint job, all for just 20 grand. You didn't have to spend twice as much for a running car. Hold on a sec. Man. Mexico is beautiful. Wait, you gotta hear about when we sprayed this thing. Nolan did a terrible job, but then he did it again and it was better. So I wasn't in the car on track day when this happened, but Nolan said it made a pop noise. And then, long story short, the best car is the one that runs. I'm not sure if low car can afford a top shelf driver like you. Anyway, that's low Z. Whatever the result, it was an awesome build. Come on, Jeremiah, which team are you? Are you kidding? Low team all the way. This Z has a special place in all our hearts. It's the hero of the show. This road goes straight to Balarante. Send it, dude. Solid drive. No one probably wishes you were there on track day. Where are Nolan and Justin anyway? Thanks to Donut and Horizon, this is every car at the festival ranked. Uh, every car. That's a lot. That's what I told him. Don't get me wrong, these cars are tight, but I got stuff to do this afternoon. How about we just do all the suvies? <laughs> nope, we're doing all the cars. Strap in. For this list, I've managed to secure each of our favorite cars at Horizon Mexico. You're welcome. For me, it's got to be the 1997 Nissan Skyline GTR R33. Because it's super underrated and it's amazing overall to drive. Close second would be the Bugatti Fira BC. Sweet. For me, it's the Subaru Brat. <laughs> because a car like that should not have existed. I try not to buy one every day. <laughs> and second for me is the Mitsubishi Stereon because I love cars that are shaped like wedges and wide bodies. <laughs> and for me, I think I'll go with the 2018 Camaro CL1 1LE. <laughs> America. <laughs> and a close second is a McLaren F1. <laughs> All right, Superstar, your favorite. Go. Uh, AMG1, Toyota Supra, Corvette C8, 
Straight up, dude. Ranked list away for nobody. I... I can't. Okay, sorry. We'll do top three then. Obviously, it's the GTR at number one. No, obviously, it's my Camaro at number one, right? I know you want to ride these jump seats. I know! A three-way tie. My car, low car, and any car you work on with your friends. I like that. If I ever actually own a GTR, I'm calling you to drive it for me. Let's go! First day, and things are going pretty smoothly for Team Low. Now, Jeremiah's setting up for an episode of Bumper to Bumper. All we gotta do is get Lokar out there to meet him. Uh, why are you saying that like it won't happen? It's only a couple miles. Sure, a couple miles. Lokar can do that. No problem. I can't believe I've never been here. It's absolutely beautiful. Tell me about it. Never gets old. We should do a season of high-low here. Baja bugs or trophy trucks or something. That would be sick. I mean, until low team breaks down, or breaks an axle, or overheats in the Baja. Low car doesn't always break, you know? That's true. Sometimes it's high car. I'll have you know that on track day, we both broke down. Justin, I think it's cooking under there. Ah, yeah. Just head for the motorway. So we almost made it to the finish, which for Hilo is actually pretty good. Great. You know, I have a truck with a rooftop tent that would have been perfect for this. I called Jeremiah. He's coming to meet us. While they try to figure out what's wrong with Lozy, you and I are going sideways with style, blower to body kit, bumper to bumper on our Formula Drift 96 Nissan 240SX. Let's go. You ready to get drifty? Don't let me get my zone. This thing raced in the 2022 Pro Spec Series, which is like the minor leagues for Formula D. Driver number 51, Adam Kanapik. He's our shop daddy, and he's probably the best driver at Doha. Oh, and we gave it a little old donut media paint job right here. You make clothes? You want a shirt? Dude, I'll get you a shirt. I'll get you a dozen shirts, plus socks, no problem. You should try a drift tap skill. So before they got to work on it, this was a Nissan S14 240SX. Iron block LS, supercharged with about 800 foot-pounds of torque. Pretty sweet.
there's your drift zone. Light it up. There you go, bumper to bumper on the Donut Media Formula Drift Nissan 240SX. What do you think? Leave a comment, like, and sub. Oh, wait, never mind. But you should subscribe though. I don't care how we do it, we're making that track day. Just you wait and see. Hey there, buddy, what's going on? Little car trouble? Yeah, James, well, low car is, uh, it's, it's broken. We'll take the truck. You drive high car. Yo, Nolan, no need to hurry. It's not a race. <laughs> oh, yeah? I bet my driver can beat High Z back to the festival in a flatbed. You can beat him back to the festival in a flatbed, right? By the way, early word on Lozy is that we blew a radiator hose. <laughs> ah, duh, radiator hose. We fixed one of those in a gas station at midnight. Yeah, that was in a high car, though. I fixed one of those on the side of the road with a butter knife before. <laughs> Us Americans love keeping butter knives in our glove box. and creates a lot more wreckage than donut. Now hard to the finish. You beat High Car in a truck. Did I possibly interest you in a donut media intern position? with the track. All right, before we get started on our high-low test track finale, one more thing we gotta do to welcome the newest member of the Donut family. What? Me? If you break a car with us, you're officially family. We've got a big family. We told you at the start, sometimes it's hard to decide between high car and low car. So... <gasps> The legends were true. The glory of mid-car awaits. I'm nervous now. Don't be. This is the best part. We picked up another identical stock Nissan Z, and it's yours to customize. Choose your upgrades, and we'll get them installed. I will definitely be helping you guys. Let's start with new wheels and tires. Now for new brakes, diff, springs, and a big, fat turbo. You probably want to look at a roll cage and some arrow, too. That Rocket Bunny wide body is pretty tempting. 
Now finish it off with a paint job. Or if you're really brave, let Nolan do it. Man, I'll never live that down. Be careful. You can spin more than low car, but less than high car. Mid car. You got it? All done? Looks pretty dope. We could probably cram a few more upgrades in there. Start with some test laps. Get a good feel for it. All right. Believe it or not, high and low Z are both running. So we are good to go. This is it. We did it. We are here. The final showdown of this very special, very exciting Horizon slash Donut edition of High Low. 
We bought three nearly identical Nissan 350Zs. One got cheap parts, one got expensive parts, and for the first time ever, one got a mix of the two. I'll be in low car. I'll be in high car. And I'll be in mid car with our special guest driver. Um, hi. Time to find out once and for all. Does more expensive mean more better? Or is more in between -er, more gooder and smarter? -er? Okay, that wasn't great, but it's a new format, so we can work on it. Let's go! Show them what Midcar can do! I see all day, baby! Woo! Whether wins or not, low Z rules. Hey guys, it's been great working with you, but I'm running away to join Horizon. Be safe, have fun, I love you, but you're still gonna lose. More friends definitely means more better. Cause our pain! Oh, is the most important part. A detour! <laughs> Take it off road! <laughs> Coming up on the finish line! Let it eat! I can't believe you did it, dude. I am so proud of you. This changes everything. You're gonna have to move to LA. We need to get you some t-shirts and like a hat. Do you know how to read a teleprompter? <laughs> I've got a better idea. How about you all join us here for a while? Oh, can we, James? Can we, can we, please, please, please? I can't say no to that face. All right, maybe for a little while. <laughs>